way. I think of the businessman at the airport. When I go to the airport, I'm in like sweats. I've got my Crocs on, a sweatshirt and a hat with my earphones. I'm ready for a nap. But there's always this guy. This guy is always there, full suited. I'm like, this dude is still working. He's got his briefcase and his phone all the way through security. He puts his phone down. He steps through. He gets his phone back up, continues going. He's making deals. He's thinking about his future. The stewardess person has to tell him to get off his phone. But when that plane lands, it's like, dee, 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 dee. you hear all the little clicks of everybody's phones because they hop back on and he's thinking about his future. And Jesus is asking us, he's saying, disciples, Christ followers, why don't you have the same urgency about your future? Why is it these people on earth thinking about future that could be gone like that? Uh, they're thinking about their future when you're not thinking about yours at all and your eternal dwellings. Why is that the case? Why are they more concerned? Think about chapter 12. Chapter 12, he's talking about a person who has barns full and the guy goes, I don't know what to do. I know what I'll do. I'll build bigger barns. And so he does, and he builds bigger barns, and God calls him a fool. Jesus says this. God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who's going to get what you prepared for yourself? This is how it will be for whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich towards God. Having said that, in chapter 16, he presses into, and yet these fools are working harder for their future than you are for yours, which is an eternal dwelling. Did you know you're supposed to be working towards your eternal dwellings? Now, this is where people get tripped up. Not to get in. That has nothing to do with it. You know, I thought it was a free gift to go to heaven. It is, yeah, you're absolutely right. There's something though in Christians, when they accept Christ, they punch their ticket into heaven and then they pretty much do what they've always done. Nothing really changes in their life. And God's like, I think you're missing the point. We, yes, you're in, but now discover all the rest. 